All right, let's take a look at how iWork and iCloud will work together. Let's say you're working on a keynote presentation on your iPad, making a beautiful presentation with all those awesome keynote graphic effects and animations, but you're away from home, you didn't bring your iPad with you, and you run into somebody who wants to see your presentation. Well, the good news is, last week we shipped iWork for iPhone. And even better, for anybody who bought uh, an iWork app for your iPad, you can download that app for your iPhone at no additional charge. So let's fire up Keynote on this phone. This is the first time we've run it here, so it's going to say hi. And then it's going to say, do you want to use iCloud? We say yes. And immediately, it sees all your Keynote presentations that you've been working on in the cloud and starts to download them in the background to your iPhone. So I'll open this one we were just looking at. And as you can see, it's all there. I even remembered what slide we were looking at. And if I want to, I can just hit play, play it right on my iPhone. And I put exactly zero effort into getting that file over here. Pretty neat. <laughs> of course, all the iWork apps use iCloud, so let's take a look at pages. And you know, imagine you're out and you, uh, you're inspired to make some changes to a document you've been working on. So I'm going to move this graphic over here. Maybe I just took a photograph that I think would be great to spruce up my cover page. So I'll go to my camera roll, insert my graphic, use alignment guides to place it, and I'm done. And I, I stick the phone in my pocket and I forget about it. And uh, in the background, iCloud is grabbing all those changes and then immediately pushing them back down to my iPad. So when I get home, pick up the iPad, fire up pages, you can see in the upper left, my document thumbnail's already been updated. <laughs> and there are all my edits, absolutely no effort on my part. And that is how iWork works with iCloud.